Hey everybody and welcome to episode one of Diverse Sci-Fi and Fantasy Stories Podcast. I'm your host, author Alicia McCullough. Thanks for tuning in. This podcast is dedicated to my beautiful son, Asante McCullough, who went missing from his Navy ship almost two years ago. It was that single event that changed the trajectory of my life forever. I left my job as a school librarian and have embarked upon the journey of being a full-time writer. Living with grief brain hasn't been easy, but my mantra is, I'm still here and I have good works to do. I know Asante would tell me to keep moving and doing what I do. I hear you, son. And so, here I am, surviving and living life the way my boy would want me to. This podcast is all about me sharing my diverse science fiction and fantasy stories. And if I have a chance, I'll share other authors' works too. So without further ado, here's my first short flash fiction piece. It's a sweet Valentine's Day superhero story dedicated to my sweetie. The Ring. Shauna placed the ring on the kitchen counter. She knew Isaac would see it. She'd found it in the bottom of his drawer. She knew she shouldn't have been snooping, but she'd been missing him while smelling his shirts. She'd found the ring in a cute little heart-shaped box. She didn't know if he'd been hiding it. Her stomach flip-flopped. Why did he have it tucked away? Would he tell her the truth or lie? With her new enhanced senses, she could tell if he lied and she'd kill him for it. The door opened. Isaac came in and dropped his keys on a green vigilante hero plate. Shauna studied him closely. Should she play this cool or go cape crusader on him? Hey, how was your day? Her sentence ended in a low guttural sound. A part of her wanted to shove the ring in his face. Who's this for? Not bad, his brown eyes considered hers. She knew he was waiting for the shoe to drop. They'd been battling each other all week. She didn't want to be the one to start an argument again. Gosh, her emotions were all over the place. But this, a ring for someone else? Was he hiding a love that he couldn't let go of? Maybe he still held a candle for that pink-haired chick with those high boots and fuchsia mask. His scent filled the room. Then her destiny was close to her, placing a very sensual but chaste kiss on her forehead. Her arms went rigid, then loosened as she closed her eyes. Shauna breathed in Isaac's scent and wanted to fall into his arms, but couldn't because of her fury. He used his super speed, moving away too quickly. Her eyes popped open. She was mad. She wanted much, much more from him. Her need for him stronger. The space was cold without him. She inadvertently used her heat vision, burning the kitchen counter, but she quickly closed her eyes, getting her new abilities under control. My presentation went very, very well. My boss said it was the best he'd seen. I'll get that promotion I was hoping for. He removed his costume shirt, exposing a buff honey brown chest. She loved the way he moved, quick but steady. Her inside squeezed. Then she saw that damn ring and the anger rose. Isaac thumbed through the mail, obviously trying not to notice the ring on the counter. Shauna wanted to scream. Maybe she should take the ring and aim it straight toward the middle of his head. Would she be able to hit him or would he super speed away? If she could figure out the trajectory needed, it'd serve him right for hiding it from her. Was it for one of his many super ex-girlfriends? Shauna's enhanced emotions intensified, but she ignored them. Should she tell him that they were fated to be together? Jealousy whirled around in her chest. She'd never had such intense reactions before. The change from human to superhuman was more of an adjustment than she'd anticipated. She felt strong emotional ownership for his soul and incredibly hot body. 
Isaac plopped down on his favorite chair and put his feet up. Shauna's ears roared. Did he not see that ring sitting there? Shauna, he asked, did you hear me? What? No, she bit her tongue. Your favorite show is on Netflix. Come on over so we can watch it together. He patted the empty space next to him in his chair. Shauna would do more to him than cuddle if he didn't tell her about that damn ring. And he seductively said, bring the ring so I can tell you all about it. Shauna scooped up the ring, leapt across the room, and plopped down on his lap, straddling him. Spill it. He smiled, gazing deeply into her eyes. He pulled her face down to his and kissed her, leaving her wanted. She needed him really badly, but she had to know. Did his heart belong to someone else? Isaac brushed her soft afro curls to the side. You're the only woman for me. He kissed her some more than paused, whispering. And the ring, it belongs to you, if you want it. Do you want it? He waited for her response. She used her lie detector senses. He spoke the truth. Shauna immediately felt silly. Her voice softened, but her heart rushed into her ears. I, I was so jealous. I thought you were in love with someone else and I was all mad. Isaac chuckled. My beautiful superhero queen, you are the only woman for me. Never forget that. Shauna's eyes glistened. This man truly was her superhero soulmate. She breathed. Yes, yes, I'll marry you, Isaac Scott. And I promise to use my superhuman abilities to be suspicious, jealous, and snoop through your things every day. Well, Isaac laughed. I look forward to all that. You're so cute when you're jealous. <laughs> so, I hope you enjoyed that. If you did, please stop by www.aliciamacalla.com and leave me a comment. Also, don't forget to share with anyone you think would appreciate it. And remember, diverse science fiction and fantasy stories mean more than coloring up new worlds. It's about showing black and brown people in imaginary circumstances doing extraordinary things and living unique lives. Hey, we belong in the future too. This is author Alicia McCullough signing off, and I'll talk to you the next time. Be safe, and in the illustrious words of Dr. Spock, live long and prosper.